Gibraltar is insane. A lot of people been saying in comments that abilities don't matter in this game. Well, that's just stupid. Maybe this game isn't like Overwatch, but the abilities are still pretty crucial. And look at Gibraltar. His ult isn't to zone or defend and all that bullshit. His ult is to kill everything that's moving. Hello everyone, my name is Patrice and this is You Are Using Gibraltar Wrong Episode. As always, all the timestamps are down in the description and from this video onwards, I move the counters, picks and team composition after the skills. Since it's better to cover and explain skills first before talking about how to use them against certain legends and with certain legends. And without further ado, let's get into it. Skills Passive Gun Shield You got a shield when you are aiming your weapon which protects you from some damage. It can take up to around 4 to 5 bullets or 2 bullets from wingman, but only one shot from shotgun or any sniper after the light ammo, well at least from my experience it always saved me from one sniper shot or one shotgun shot. Your head is still open, so it won't help with headshots. And also after it shatters there's a brief cooldown before you can use it again. One tip to keep in mind is that you can turn it off. So if you are scoping somebody from a distance and want to be sneaky, make sure to turn off the shield since it can be pretty bait. But don't forget to turn it back on when you are going back into the fight. This passive is usually not much of use in close fights since you don't really want to be aiming around an enemy when he's jumping around and all that fun stuff. But it's really useful for long range fights. For example, on this video, the enemy was shooting at me and I couldn't find him. But every time I come up, he shots once, takes my passive shield off and I go back and wait till he resets. In any other condition, he would have already snapped my health bar or shield. It's pretty basic ability and there's not much to it. And I see why they put it in, since your hitbox is massive. Have to have something to back it up, right? Now moving on to his tactical, Dome of Protection. I call it a bubble shield. But basically what it does is blocks any incoming or outcoming projectiles. So any bullets, barrages or grenades will bounce off this shield. It lasts for 15 seconds which is enough to cover from any bombarding abilities including your own. You have enough time to revive your team or heal yourself or loot. But when you are using it in a fight be careful since the dome might confuse your teammates quite a lot and sometimes if you threw it in a wrong time you could have blocked off their potential kill or grenade and etc. So try to keep in mind of your team. If you're using close fights then keep in mind that people will rush you since they instinctively will think that you are low and trying to heal. Use it against them. When you see an enemy running towards your bubble shield, aka dome shield, throw a grenade inside and come outside or come outside just when they're about to enter to escape the first shot, especially if they have shotgun, after which you can re-enter to counter attack. Genuinely you can use this ability to fight multiple enemies or even multiple teams, but you have to keep surfing in between of the walls to escape and deal damage. And keep in mind they can also do that back to you, but since you are playing jib, eventually you should have more experience in doing that. You can also put a tip of your gun outside the dome whilst having your body still inside. That way you can deal damage while not being afraid of getting shot back. Additionally you can use it to block off enemy Bangalore or Gibraltar's ultimate. Or even combine it with your own ultimate to give you team protection whilst you're reviving or healing. But enemy Wraith can get through it quite easily under her void run. And she can even place a teleport inside so her team can follow up. Also Caustic Nox Gas won't care about your shield. I usually use the shield if I get sniped or shot from a long range to get myself healed up. I always hug the opposite side of the shield whenever where the enemy comes from just in case if I get rushed I still can avoid some damage and finish healing or cancel it. But also sometimes I use in close fights by dropping it to give myself some breathing time, especially if I'm getting rushed, to dodge some shots and to counter attack back after the enemy shoots and maybe give my team chance to come up and help me out. As I said before, throw a grenade inside the shield if you are getting rushed. The throwing star blows up in 3 seconds after sticking to something, while the grenade takes 4 seconds after it being launched. So use this knowledge for your advantage. At the beginning of the game, if you don't have a weapon and you are getting shot, then you can just drop the dome and use it as cover for your back whilst you are running for the loot or something. In addition, I love using the bubble shield inside around the structures, such as school town for example. Since you can hide in a little corners and being covered by your dome that is cutting through the building. That way you can heal yourself and even if the enemy does find you, you will have time to cancel the heal before getting shot. Since your shield is just about covering you. And if you put the tip of the weapon outside while still standing inside, you can clutch the fight even with few HP. Ok with tactical covered, let's move on to the ultimate, defensive bombardment. Don't get confused, this all deals a shitload of damage and instead of using it as defensive or zone control, you rather shovery on the enemy team, melting their shields and in most cases killing them. 
Yes, I did still use this ability as a defense, especially on my teammates that are getting rushed, since they won't receive the damage. But even then, in reality, my teammate was more of like bait for my ultimate. Most of the time, I use this ability very aggressively, and it honestly gives me a shitload of kills. For example, look at this video. I was in really bad position, while the enemy team had great shots on me, and I couldn't even move out in most cases, since I would have been showered with bullets. I quickly run out and throw down my dome to give myself some cover. Straight after, I use my ult and land it straight onto them. Look how amazing this is, not just that it give me a great cover fire, so even if they wouldn't get damage, I would still reposition, but it shreds their team up to 40 damage per explosion. In the end they had no shields and they were low, plus one of them even got downed by it. After which, even that it was 2v3 and we were in a bad position, we were able to carry this out and came out as winners out of the fight. You might say that it's easy to avoid his ult by hiding inside, and in the video I provided, the enemy team was next to the building, but even if they would avoid my ult inside, I would still make sure to reposition position and gain advantage. Or if you have grenades, then lob them inside the building, that way they still get damage and they trap themselves inside so they can't even get out of there. So in most cases I would recommend using this ability very offensively since it deals so much damage it's a waste of using otherwise. If you want zone control, play Bangalore or Caustic but not Gibraltar. Of course, you can still use it defensively and there were a lot of times where I would cover my team or even throw it after which I would go in just before the ultimate starts working and throw in my dome shield to revive my teammate. But be careful with this since enemy can also use this chance to come inside your shield and tear you up whilst having cover from your ultimate. You much more rather use it and tell your teammate to pick him up while you stay outside and make sure nobody is shooting at them and etc. For example, check this video out. I was running towards Lifeline's loot drop and before the enemy team even got a chance to pick it up, I immediately threw my ult on top of it. After that, I dropped the dome right in the dropping area, but I waited a little bit until the ult starts so no one would join me. That way I stole their loot and dealt a lot of damage onto them as well. Gibraltar's ultimate can also be used for repositioning. I personally just had more profit from it using it aggressively and landing it on top of enemy squads. Additionally, keep in mind that if you throw Gibraltar's ultimate underground, then it will land on top of the spot you threw it. For example, look at this video. We were playing against the last team. We had the positional advantage on them, but you see how Pathfinder, he ruined our plans and he threw the ultimate on top of us, so he they all go above us. And as you know, whoever has high advantage usually wins in this game, but not in this case, since I just threw my ult where they were roughly standing at, and he landed right on top of them, shovering them in explosion. This helped us a lot, especially that he even downed one of them so it was 2v2. So you can use his ultimate in these kind of ways as well. So make sure if there's enemy on top of you or you or you know that there's enemy hiding somewhere on top, maybe like some kind of high ground, you can always go under the high ground and throw the ultimate there to ruin their plans. Moving on to counter picks and team composition. This is the only legend from my experience that can properly counter himself. If enemy team also has Gibraltar, they can easily counter your ultimate, just like you can do it to them as well. You can also counter Bangalore's ult, but usually you won't need to since it's easy to get out of it. Well, only if you want to keep the zone to yourself. Moving on to Wraith. As with all AoE ults, she can easily counter yours too. Bloodhound has a bug where when he uses his tactical, he can actually avoid your ultimate stun effect and gets out of there quicker. But I'm sure this will get fixed, so it don't really count. Caustic Nox gas goes through Gibraltar's bubble shield and will still affect you. As mentioned in Pathfinder's video, he can easily grapple out of your ultimate as well and avoid most or even all damage. Moving away from the topic, people that prefer fighting long range will have a bit of struggle to fight through your bubble shield, since you can actually pop out your weapon while still being inside of it, so you can shoot them and they can't shoot you back. But that's not really a legend counter, so let's move on. Now let's talk about team composition. Gibraltar is what I call tank support class. I say that because he can easily cover his team from fire with his dome shield or with his ultimate since the team don't get damaged by it. Also he can use it aggressively to land on enemy teams or even a combination of both to give him a chance of reviving his teammates. So technically he can always bring something to the table, but there is a legend that will make his skills even more profitable. Let's start with Lifeline. You can drop your bubble on top of her healing bot, so that way you can use her bot to heal, cover yourself from fire while still moving wherever you want. Not just two, it's three birds one stone, baby. Also, you know how Lifeline ult can get you killed, since people see you coming and rush there. 
Well, no worries, since your shield can provide defense from any snipers while you loot safely. Moving on to Bangalore, you can bait some players with her ult to run into the direction you want or to bait out a dome shield from an enemy Gibraltar, after which you can successfully land an ultimate exactly where the enemy will be. Her smokes work fine too, if Bangalore's rants has smoke on the enemy team, then by throwing your ult on top of that will add even more confusion to them, so they will have to go out of the smoke ASAP where you should have advantage on them. Also you can counter enemy Bangalore defensive smoke that way as well, especially if you know someone is getting revived there. Just, just land your ult on top of the entire smoke screen. Did someone mention Caustic? Oh man. The combo of two ults is usually equal to the entire team wide. Caustic ult provides some confusion and slow, whilst Gibraltar's ult deal damage. Free kills easy. You can also give your team extra protection with his Nox cast. For example, if your teammate is down and you want to res him but the enemy is there, no problem. Just make Caustic push them out with his Nox gas, and then to protect yourself from grenades and stuff, just use your bubble shield. After which, revive your teammate. The enemy won't be able to come close or do damage on range either, and teammates don't receive Nox damage, only the slow. With this out of the way, let's go on to pros and cons. As always, I'll start with pros. You have invincible shield for 15 seconds that you can even shoot out of. Your ultimate deals a ton of damage and using it aggressively is very rewarding. He's the only legend at this point that can actually kill enemies with his ultimate. Keep in mind the radius of the throw isn't that big so you won't be able to throw it far. Even if you are stuck in a bad position, you can save yourself with your ultimate. You can provide cover for your team with shield or with your ultimate, so in general, he's a good supportive pick. Your ultimate don't damage your team, so feel free to drop it on top of them if they are getting rushed, but it will still apply the slow effect. You have passive shield that absorbs around 45 to 90 damage and can save you from potential death. Now let's get to cons. You have the biggest hitbox in the game, so you are the easier to hit. Yes, you do have the shield to compensate for this, but it's relatively small and headshots still go through. Your ultimate kills you as well, so don't think you are a caustic that can cover himself in his ult. Your passive shield is pretty weak and don't protect you from headshots or anywhere under your body really, so you can still get shot in your legs. The dome shield can be used against you and get you rushed, plus enemy can use your own dome cover to hide from your ult. You're running the same speed, but the fact that it just looks slower is annoying. You don't have any escaping abilities, but you still can use your shield to escape and cover your back. Your ultimate still applies stun effect onto your teammates, so sometimes they might hate you if you land on top of them. Nox gas goes through your dome. Without your ultimate you are very weak and can't really do much, so this legend relies on his ult a bit too much. And last but not least, how to counter Gibraltar. There's few second animation before his ult actually starts landing, so get out of there ASAP. You can use his dome shield against him or even throw a grenade inside but be careful since he might do the same. Try to go for headshots since his passive shield won't stop your bullets, but yeah, I know, it's harder. Try to not fight in open zones and instead go somewhere you can hide from his barrage. Know what your team is capable of. If you have Wraith, then make sure to teleport your team out of the danger zone and etc. Okay, with all this said, I think this is pretty much everything to cover for Gibraltar. He's a very fun legend and I had a lot of fun playing him aggressively. Yes, he's not for flanking, but he feels so satisfying landing his ultimate on the enemy squad and crushing their shields or even killing them. As always, don't forget to leave a like and if you think I missed any tips, make sure to comment down below your pro tips. I will make sure to highlight it and even pin it if it's really surprising. Thank you guys for watching and I thank you for all the support, 10k subscribers in about 2 weeks is amazing, especially that it took me around 7 months to get to 280 subs. Anyway, that's pretty much it for today's episode and I see you in the game. Bye.